Hey guys, how's everybody doing? My name is Gail. I am a small town picker here on YouTube and I'm coming at you with a Facebook Marketplace video. So some of the features I'm going to talk about, really there's only two. Most of these are not new. Some of you may have seen them and not real sure about it. Um, the two that I want to talk about are the promotional sales that you can run on your items that you're listing for sale and then also show you if you're someone like me I like to take my photos on my phone and then from there get them onto the listing so Facebook marketplace lets you use your desktop version to create your ad and from there it'll allow you to choose photos from your phone and then it uploads into the listing. It's a really cool feature if you don't already use it. If you're new to Facebook Marketplace or you haven't done it yet, I highly recommend it. I do have a playlist I'll try to link here. I'll definitely link the playlist below of all my Facebook Marketplace videos that you might find helpful um, when you're trying to get started doing it. Super easy plan to use. The fees for Facebook Marketplace are still only 5%. It's highly worth doing to make a little bit of extra cash and get some of your money back in some of those items you're not using. Okay, so let's get to it. First thing I want to talk about are the promotional items and sales that you can run on your listings. Once you log into Facebook, you have an option here to choose Marketplace. You click on that, and here's a list of all the items that di different people are selling. From there, you just click on your account, and then this is a list of all of the items that I currently have listed. Okay, so what I do, if you wanna run a promotion on your items, you'll see on the sidebar here, here are the different options that you have. So if you click on promotions, these are ones that I've done in the past before, like I've run discount sales. So here, I'm just gonna show you how you can run an, a promotion. If you don't have any that you've done before, you'll have this blank down here. Kind of one of the downfalls is if you click on this, you can see what items you had on sale and what the discount was, but they won't let you copy it or duplicate it or just use it again. So you have to do a new one from scratch each time. So just click Create. And then here you can do whatever promotion name you want. So if I just say um, like $2 off is what I want to call it. And I want to say the promotion type, it'll ask you if you want a flat discount by a certain amount off, or do you want to do a percentage off, or is your offer free shipping? So I'm just going to choose flat discount, a certain amount off. So I want to do $2 off of the hair barrettes that I'm selling. Okay, so I'm just going to put here $2. Now, you know I put it up here, but this is just what I'm calling it. So I can identify what the sale is. So I want to do a flat discount of $2. And then I'm going to say it starts today. And then um, this is the current time. And then the end date, I'm just going to set it to end, um, say, Wednesday night. I'm going to go all the way to 11.45. So you can run it however long you want to, I believe. I don't know that there's a limit in there. And it tells you here that your promotion or your discount cannot be more than 30%. Because I'm doing a specific one where I want to do $2 off of my barrettes. That helps me know what it's for. So there's not a select all button. If you click this, it will choose a lot of these items. But as you scroll down, if you have a lot, you'll see that it's only doing what's in the page view. So once you scroll down, then basically if you have a lot of items, you just need to page down or scroll down to the very end of all of your listings. If you post on different groups, those discounts do carry over to those groups, which is why there's a lot because some of these are duplicates. If I check all and then I go all the way to the bottom, there they are. Okay. So that's how you can do it. And then you create the promotion. It'll do $2 off of everything you've chosen. I want to do it a little bit differently, so that's one way you could do it. I'm going to uncheck this, and I'm going to search my listings for what I want to do the sales for. So if you want to do it on bracelets, you would type bracelets here, just hit enter. It'll take anything that has the word bracelet in the description, and then from there, you can choose all if you want to do it that way. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing, but this time I'm just going to do it for barrettes. Okay, so anything that has a word bread in it, I'm going to choose them. Um, this one is not, I'm just going to, you can exclude certain ones if you'd like to. Um, so that's kind of how you do it. And then when you're done, you just click create promotion. And there it is. It's $2 off of the breads. If I go to the link here that says your listings and I type bread, 
correctly. Here's the item and you can see the discount is already applied. Okay, so I'm going to show you here on my phone that's a little bit different. So if you go to a little person at the top and then scroll to promotions here, so you can click create a new promotion at the top. You can call it what you want, just discount, whatever you want to call it. The type, whether you want a dollar amount or percentage. Again, we're just going to do $2 here. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the end date. I'm just going to pick some random date here just so I can show you. When you click next, there is a select all button, just like the other one had the text button, but you can see as you scroll down, these items are unchecked. Okay, so you still have to then select all and keep going to select all. So anyway, that's enough on the promotions. You can run a percentage off or an amount off. You can also offer free shipping and you can do that for whatever time frame you'd like. The next thing, which I have to say is pretty exciting. When you're in your Facebook marketplace like we were earlier, if you click create new listing like you would typically do to do uh, an item for sale, and right here, there's an option that says upload photos directly from your phone. So even though the photos aren't on your desktop, if you click try it, you'll see it says here, tap the notification on your phone to upload photos. On my cell phone, when I come to Facebook Marketplace, there's a notification down here in the bottom right corner. When I click it, it says you can add photos to your listing in progress here. So if I click it, then I can choose the items that I want to sell from here. So let's say these are the ones that I want to do. So as I click done, you'll see them start to, you can barely see it, it's doing a circulation and then there it goes. It's added it to this and it's still processing. I just click done on my cell phone and that's it. The photos are there. They're still on my phone. They're now on my listing. So how cool is that? Just want to let you guys know that's a feature. If you're not already using it, give it a shot, especially if you use your cell phone for taking pictures. Okay guys, I hope that has been helpful. If you've not used it already, give it a try and let me know what you think. If you like these kind of videos and you haven't subscribed and would like to, there's a subscribe icon right here. And if you want to see other videos that I have around Facebook Marketplace, there's a playlist right here that you can click on and that would be it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.